Have you noticed how addicted we are to Helldivers 2 right now? I want more. We're quitting our jobs, not talking to our loved ones, and not showering for weeks. <laughs> and all for the name of democracy and super earth. But why? Why are we so heavily addicted to Helldivers 2? Well, in today's video, I got four categories on why this game is just blowing us away and keeping us coming back for more and more and more. And I cannot sleep ever because all I think about is saving Super Earth. So stick around to find out what all those categories are and would appreciate it to the max. Strap in Helldiver, get those stratagems ready, try to play some Dance Dance Revolution while dropping a nuke on a Bile Titan, and I'll see you down there. Also, before the video does start, I did want to say that I now stream on YouTube too. Look at this dude. So if you prefer Twitch or YouTube, you can, you know, come on either. That sounded really wrong, but you get the point. Drop in chat, say what's up, let's talk about games, and we'd love to have you in the streams. Space Dom is real and we're fucking experiencing it! One of my first points is this game feels like a straight up movie sometimes. You guys remember that movie called Starship Troopers? Yeah, it feels like we're playing that game mixed with a little bit of Halo. And just some awesome explosions that happen. The visuals are just downright gorgeous when you drop in these planets. I remember playing for the first time. I did not know what I was getting myself into. I've never played the original Helldivers, but I heard a lot of great stuff about that game. So jumping into Helldivers 2, I was a bit skeptical. Didn't know what was gonna happen, but right off the bat, just watching the cinematic trailer they have in the beginning, I was already hooked. I couldn't wait to get down on these planets and just fight for Super Earth already. <gasps> And once you get down on these planets, like I said, the visuals are awesome. Not even talking about the big explosions and big boom booms that happen all over the planet. After seeing my first bomb go off and this mass destruction with this nice sounding audio, oh, oh, it was, it was, it was cool. It was, it was like, see this shit? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Just walking around sometimes feels so cool. These are the type of planets they should have in Starfield, but. Anyways, after traversing for a bit, you might come across some termins or nasty socialist automatons. And those automatons are no fucking joke. What the fuck is going on? And the guns just feel so punchy and nice to use. If you're shooting an automaton and one of his arms blows off, but he's still fighting you with his other one, it's so cool and cinematic at times. Or if you got termins coming after you and you're blowing their heads off and he's still charging at you, most terrifying moment of my entire life. So you gotta make sure that motherfucker ain't moving before you move on to the next area. It's so cool. I love also that they don't have a health bar or some kind of visual representation showing how much health they have. This is where the game feels like a goddamn movie sometimes. Where we'll be dropping down on missions doing either Termas or Automatons, just desperately trying to get these missions done and extract with probably just one more reinforcement left as my boys are just Gatling down with their machine gun, just waiting for that extract to come in. We got bile titans dropping. We had four tanks drop on us on one just simple mission, and it was intense. We did not survive. We did not survive the four tank drop mission. There's, yeah, three, I'm, there's I'm, two I'm tanks. Like there's three here. tanks. There's three somewhere. tanks. Oh, oh my oh. god. Also, I love the comedic voice acting in this game where if you're just laying fire down, your dude will start screaming like a maniac. <laughs> or randomly, they'll start screaming for democracy. Or do you want a cup of liberty? You want some liberty? The only thing that I drink. Hell yeah. Also to mention the armor and equipment that you use look pretty solid. They did add some nice detail to them. And they do give you some buff depending on what armor you use. There's lighter or medium or heavy armor. If you have a friend who likes blowing shit up next to you, um, like my friend Tidy. Patrick, that's over rocket launcher. Yes. Love you, but you dropped those stratagems way too close to me, buddy. I would recommend bringing the heavy armor for it reduces explosive damage. Why 
do you drop him so close to me? Love you, Tidy. Don't don't hate at me. Drop a comment down below saying you love Tidy. But there's just a lot of moments in this game that just makes me go, hell yeah, I feel like I'm playing through a movie sometimes, and the intense situations just makes it 10 times better. I know some of y'all might not want to go to the harder difficulties. You're a pussy. But trust me, it is so, so awesome and rewarding if you extract out of those missions doing everything you could have. For democracy, baby. But yeah, those are just some of my key points on why I think this can be a goddamn movie sometimes. It's literally Starship Troopers mixed with Halo, and it, it, it makes an awesome experience that I feel like a lot of people have been wanting to play, and Arrowhead just dropped it upon us and said, here you go, and thank you. This is the perfect game I needed to just relieve a lot of stress and drop some awesome bombs. I love you. Moving on to my other key point is this game feels like a D&D experience. Recently, we found there was a person by the name of Joel, and fuck you, Joel, and I'll explain why I said that. He's basically a game master. Well, recently he woke up in the middle of the night because we were taking a planet way too easy, so he decided to just bring in all the reinforcements he can. That is such craziness, but I love it. Well, recently this just confirms that this is a whole D&D experience is we were supposed to get an update of mechs, but since the automatons took over this one planet, the mechs were being created. We have to liberate that planet first for us to get these mechs. And that is just so awesome. Usually in just these live service games, they would just drop the update, you know, go do your missions with your new fun mechs. Yippee! No, we have to fight for it now. We have to work for it. And I don't hope that every update is like this, but I kind of hope that every update is like this because I love that we're fighting for it. It's so cool because now it just realizes that there's, there's an actual war happening here. There's actual consequences happening if we don't take over this planet or we don't defend this planet. They will creep in slower and slower to super Earth if we don't do anything about it. So it definitely feels like there's an actual war happening with the, we're pushing one side, they're pushing back, we're taking a planet, they're gonna take it back. It's it's so cool. It it, it feels like this whole like I said, D and D experience. To be honest, a live service D and D experience. So in the end, it all depends on us if we want to liberate that plan and get our new update we better do it my life for super Earth. also really quick mention i did post on twitter me using the green screen for the first time i wrote best caption will go in my next video so the winner is from norcal rising famous came saying all right guys that wraps up this video i'm about to get rammed so hard by this monster thanks for watching my next point is this game is 40 dollars yeah bitch! It's not like some of these $70 games like <coughs> Kill the Death to Tree or Quadruple A, you can skull and bones. If I ever find one of these lying around again, I swear to fucking God, I will stop being so polite. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you. Quadruple A, are you fucking serious? That game is so goddamn boring. That game made me realize how much more I love Helldivers 2. This game is not at that $70 triple A price tag. It is $40 and it makes it a little bit more inviting to other players who don't have $70 to spend. Money, money, I got money, 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 I got or even then, they can probably afford two games now with Helldivers being 40 bucks. You know, in the past, most live service games are goddamn terrible, and Helldivers 2 just showed what a live service game is supposed to be like. It's fun, the missions feel so much different than each other, and dropping on on different planets, there's always a different environment to explore. And plus, there's no aggressive microtransactions like in these big AAA titles. Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. There is like a premium war bonds battle pass you can say but you could find these war bonds throughout the map or through the free battle pass and i love that games do this for us you can either yeah you can buy it you can spend money and get the premium stuff or you can work for it that's how i unlocked my premium battle pass and it feels so much more rewarding than just buying it Also, I love that the devs said they have to earn our respect and trust to add more microtransactions to this game. It's just 
makes me love Helldivers 2 way more. It, it feels like this game is actually for the gamers, not just, you know, these suits being like, here's a game for y'all. You guys know, you guys will buy it. Uh -huh. Screw you, Ubisoft and quadruple A skull and bones. Helldivers 2 is kicking down the door and here to stay, baby. <laughs> And one of my final points in this game is the community and devs of this game. And they're, they're just this cherry on top. The community is so welcoming, awesome, and just the posts that I see online. I can see either someone dropping a 500 kg bomb on like some three bile titans, or I can see someone posting that the flamethrower is crazy out of control right now, and you should use it, as they already nerfed our railgun, so RIP to that. But hey, I guess we just have to get good. Plus, playing with others uh, feels like it is so much more simplified in this game. I thought I would have to play solo for... I play at random times throughout the day, but finding other random players has just been such an easier time. Even just me just loading up a mission before I drop in, I already got a full squad, and it's a way more enjoyable time when there's friendly fire and one of your goddamn teammates just runs across your uh, line of sight and you just blast him in the head with a shotgun. It's great, and yeah, I love it. I love friendly fire. Also, let's talk about the Malevolent Creek incident. I saw the community erupt when that was happening. So many memes and posts saying, we're losing Malevolent Creek, we need reinforcements. And it, it was just, it just made the game so much more alive. Plus the devs letting us know that they're just gonna be updating and bringing more and more awesome stuff to this game. Like recently we found out there's gonna be fire tornadoes or meteor showers. And it, it, it just brings such more of a bigger level hype to Helldivers 2. They're they're adding new guns, they're adding new stratagems, they're adding more events that happen on these planets. And with them controlling what planet, you know, takes over and basically writing out the story, as if you notice, there's no major campaign or storyline in this game. So them kind of playing out what happens from what we're doing, it's so cool. That's what makes me love this game. 10 times more. My life for super! And yeah, those are kind of my four points on why this game is so goddamn addicting. Game feels like a movie sometimes with all these explosions and such intense moments on these beautiful planets and with some of the best feeling guns I've ever played in a game. The D&D aspect of the whole Helldivers universe is so cool. I love that anything can happen at any moment in this game. It's not like set in stone Element of surprise. also the 40 dollar price tag and not aggressive microtransactions being this game l divers 2 compared to the other live service games happening it's it's such a it's just so nice to finally play a good live service game and then the community and the devs of this game like i said it's just the cherry on top of this whole awesome package i'm absolutely loving every aspect of l divers 2 there is a great community and developers behind this game and and it's, it's, it's bringing me more friends, it's bringing me awesome new community members, and I absolutely love it. When a game does this, it just makes the community, the gaming community, ten times more happier. And we needed this. After so many just awful live service games coming out, Helldivers 2 brought some awesome just awesome stuff to us and yeah those are my points on why i'm or you or all of us are addicted to hell divers too if there's anything i missed that you thought about drop a comment down below would love to discuss more about it and also drop a comment if you've been playing hell divers too and what's your experience like and yeah, drop those comments down below let's get some hell divers too hype down there and leave a like and subscribe to the video if you did enjoy it try to hit that 1k mark and finally get this channel monetized so i can just keep making awesome content for y'all if you haven't noticed i uh upgraded and put a little green screen effect to uh, this video so trying out different things for y'all and uh seeing if it sticks or not and like i said before i do live stream on this youtube channel now so drop in drop by say hello what's up let's talk about games but if you do prefer twitch as your main streaming uh, go-to platform i'm also live on there but yeah i'm gonna go hop back on hell divers to play some more awesome missions and maybe finally get those mechs so i'll see you out there fighting for democracy and saving super earth and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace